first of all, Dan, did a lot of it seem to res you seem to resonate with the I things think they so, were asking yeah. you? That it doesn't matter what sort of ages you are. Um, everybody's sort of struggling with the same sort of things or um, wants to know the same sort of things about mental health. So I think just speaking about it and um, sort of spreading the word a little bit um, goes a long way. What kind of stood out for you, Amber? Um, just the openness of it. Like we were just saying, I wish I had something like that when I was in school. Like, and then I asked the kids after when, like, the cameras off, and I said, like, do you feel comfortable with this like topic and asking these questions and speaking to people in your class and around you? And they were like, yeah. And you could just see it's been normalised so much more than when we like grew up and in school. There was nothing around that, which is so nice to be part of it and kind of just see it from their side now and hopefully give back a little bit and make it a little bit more normal to speak about our feelings and everything that's going on. With you, Dan, at, at Fulham, when you spoke about, you know, how you had counselling, how, how you struggled, and, and there, the help perhaps wasn't always there or as accessible as it is now, yeah, these I days. Yeah, I think so. I think as well, I, I just, it, it might not have been that, but in my head, it was sort of, um, it was sort of like a weakness. Like, I think it was just like, as I came up, it was sort of like, oh, like, just like man up and, and get on with it, do you know what I mean? I think obviously that's changed now. I don't feel we, we speak like that anymore, but just at the time, I think that was always um, in my head. But um, I think it was probably a combination of a lot of things football, things that were happening were, were, were family. Um, but I have to say, Fulham were, were good. I went and sport them and said that I was struggling. Um, and then they, they sort of helped us out and, and, and set us up with, with a counsellor. And I know. It's hard at the moment to get time with, with counsellors. I know that, it's, it, and it's not something that um, one thing's going to fix everybody. I think there's lots of different ways that you, you can help your, your mental health, but I just sort of felt that helped me and, and gave me tools to um, know that if I'm having a bad day now, that um, I can sort of use them and a bad day doesn't become a bad week or a bad month, or um, I can sort of manage it a lot better. Now. I remember I always had this thing like the one day mentality, which I call it, which is um, something that I wouldn't recommend to anyone. I was like really struggling, but I was like, one day this will all go away. Mm. It'll all go away one day. I was like, maybe when I f sign my first contract. And then when I signed my first contract, like an hour after I trained and then absolutely battered myself mentally, like, because I was like, that wasn't good enough, this is. And I was like, why don't I feel that release of everything I thought going away? Mm. So I was like, oh, it'll be when I get my first. 90 in the WSL. Oh, it'll be this, it'll be that. And honestly, that carried out for me for years. Mm. I was like, one day this would all go away. I never was really actually taking action or changing what I was doing. It was just like, one day I'll achieve something that will make me feel good enough. That I I don't feel uh, obviously as well, I think it's because you were doing those things, but you were hitting those goals as well. You just sort of thought that was like part of being a footballer or, or what was doing. Do you know what I mean? Like you obviously like, Internally, you can be struggling a bit, but externally, being pretty good. Like, obviously, I was at the time, I was like, I've just made my debut in the Premier League, so I was like, how can I be feeling like this? Our world is so used to now just getting like that instant gratification mm -hmm. that, like, you're getting, like, you know, the kids nowadays and things. And that's where I say, like, I don't read too much into it. And there's times, like, I say I have social media and stuff, like, the apps won't be on my home screen. If I want to go on it, I'll like drag down my phone and search it because I'm just like, I'm, I'm wary of like what I can be doing that is better with my time. If you are struggling a bit, like to come away from it a bit is not a, not a bad thing. I just think it like just changes your perspective. You're not thinking about what's going on all the time out there. You're just sort of looking after yourself and looking after the people that are. Well, an awesome. example of that recently is, is Brennan Johnson, isn't it, at Tottenham? Mm. Just taking that step away, yeah. deactivating or whatever he's done with that particular social media platform that, that he's stepped away from because yeah. it was just wasn't very nice. No, and I think like, it, the thing is with social media, it doesn't matter how many good things you see, like, it only takes one person to say something bad and like, that just like, can change your mood instantly. Do you know what I mean? I think I got in a spiral with it where like, I would come in straight away and I would be like searching my name just to see what people were saying was, and then just refreshing and refreshing. I'm like, why do I care? Like, like, now I think, like, why was I bothered by it so much? But like, as I said, I think like, you just want that gratification straight away. Be like, oh yeah, like he played well today. Like he's good. Do you know what I mean? Whereas now, like I think, my perspective changed. I only really care what my teammates think, what my manager thinks, and family. As coaching changed, do you find coaching is evolving to be more aware of, of players of good with good mental health and, and bad mental health? 
I think so, yeah. I feel when I first came through, it was a lot. It was more emotional football as in... Uh, reactive. Reactive, yeah. So if, we, if you got beat, there was a lot of... Probably a lot more shouting going on and not, not as much constructive things going on. But I think that was just a, the way probably those coaches came through as players. Whereas I feel it, it is now like the new mould of a coach is a lot more sort of measured with what they do. The, the game has changed. There's still a lot... Uh, like look further to go but I think these things and like speaking about openly makes a massive difference.